Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and this is a demonstration of the Celio Redfly C8N with two Windows Mobile devices, the Touch Pro 2 and the Blackjack 2. Um, now, for those of you that don't know, the Celio Redfly is like a Windows Mobile terminal. So the idea is that you tote the Redfly around with you, and you can utilize the full capabilities of your Windows phone, although you have a very large screen here. This is the, the higher-end model with an 8-inch screen. You have a full keyboard a mouse pad, and even if you're using a non-touch screen device, you'll still get a mouse cursor on the screen, plus a host of inputs. So for example, this has two USB inputs. Um, one can be used for the device, one can be used for a mouse. You could also connect a USB flash drive for storage, which is kind of cool. So if you have a Word document or a PowerPoint and you want to sit down and edit it, you can bring around your flash drive, plug it in, and be good to go. You can also connect it to a VGA video port, um, so you can connect it to a monitor or some LCD televisions will allow you to connect to your Redfly, or you can connect it to a projector if you're giving a presentation. In addition, most Redflies will come with this media cable, which allows you to connect to the um, composite cables if your display or your projector doesn't use uh, a VGA connector like this. So let's go through the process of actually connecting a device. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is install the drivers on your phone, which takes probably five minutes if you know how to install a cab file. And I've already done that on the Touch Pro 2 here. So I'm going to take the sync cable. You can also do this over Bluetooth, but the performance is much, much better over USB. And I'm going to plug it in to one of the USB ports. I'm going to turn on the red fly with this button, open the screen. And already it says Redfly. It's, it starts up in literally half of a second. It's very fast startup time. Connect the device here. Wait about five seconds and watch what happens. Okay, here we are. So we're viewing SBB Mobile Shell 3 on the Redfly, which is what I'm running on the Touch Pro 2. It's an 800 by 480 resolution right now, and that's actually the same resolution as the Touch Pro 2. Uh, if you saw the previous video, you know that this model of the Redfly will actually scale to 1024 by 768 on some devices. In fact, you're going to see it scale that high on the Blackjack 2. Right now, Redfly or Celio is working out some issues with devices with the WVGA resolution, like the Xperia X1 and the Touch Pro 2. So right now, if you have a Touch Pro 2 or an Xperia X1 or anything else that has a WVGA screen, you're only going to get the native resolution on the display. So let's click around a little bit. I'm going to go into the Start menu just as normal. Uh, let's go to Office Mobile. And we get, of course, Office Mobile. And we can click on Word Mobile. And we can type a document just as if we were on the device. But of course, we get this nice, spacious keyboard, which allows for some quicker text entry. Although there's a little bit of a lag. Let me try to to show you. It's actually pretty good in Word Mobile. You'll get a little bit of a lag in messaging and SMS, but it's really great to have such a large keyboard. Uh, the keys are smaller than they are on a standard laptop, of course, but that's because it has to fit into the small form factor. Now we get some special buttons on the keyboard. We have the call start and call end button here, and we can tap the call end button, which will take us, of course, back home. We have a messaging button, a home button. Um, we have things to allow us to connect to the external projector. We also have the red fly menu, and you may be able to see that down here. You press function, then R, which takes you actually into the uh, the Redfly menu, which is based in Windows Mobile. And the interface is kind of clunky. I'm, I'm surprised, actually, uh, Celio left it so ugly. We can set up a connection via Bluetooth. In input, we can change the speed of the touchpad, make it a little faster, a little bit slower, change the keyboard repeat rate, battery power. And by the way, I should mention that the Redfly has an inbuilt, very large battery. So not only does it power itself, but it's charging my Touch Pro 2 as well. So it's kind of another function of the Redfly can actually charge your device. We can increase the screen brightness. Although, of course, you want to leave it a little bit lower so you don't kill the battery. Um, external power, same settings for screen brightness. Hot keys, so you can set some of these buttons on the keyboard to do different things. We go into advanced. Clear type support, which is turned on right now, so that you can get, get kind of a crisper uh, font. Performance. You can specify if you want the device to have better image clarity or better performance. Uh, right now, it's on image clarity so that it's the clearest picture that we can do. Although, I want to slide it to performance and see how well video playback is in CorePlayer if I open up a, a episode of The Office. So I'm going to do that now. 
Okay, and we're trying to play an episode of The Office right now, and it's not even playing, so uh, you don't want to use the Red Fly as a mobile you know, video viewer. It's not going to perform very well in that respect. It's more so for productivity and that sort of thing. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a look at how the Red Fly does with internet browsing, how it looks on a larger screen. So we are going to go into um, Opera Mobile. And we're connected to Wi-Fi right now. Let's go to uh, pocketnow.com. All right. Looks like I just got a text message up there. Hit enter. And uh, let's see how it looks on the screen. And here it comes now. It's a bit slow right now over Wi-Fi. I guess I'm connected to a slow network. But that is Opera Mobile 9.5. Um, Things appear as you would expect them to appear, except video doesn't work too well, as we just saw previously. So let's take a look at another device connected to the Red Fly. We're going to connect the Blackjack 2 here. And so I'm going to disconnect the Touch Pro 2 and take it out from the back. Then I'm going to get the cable, uh, the Samsung proprietary cable for the Blackjack 2, and plug it in. And of course, I've already installed the drivers onto the uh, Blackjack 2, so that's ready to go. And the screen dims here after a little while of inactivity. Plug it in and connecting. And that was about seven seconds. And when you connect to a non-touch screen Windows mobile device, things get a little bit more weird because uh, the 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 and that took about seven seconds. And when you connect to a Windows Mobile standard non-touch screen device, things get a little weird. They don't appear that great on the screen. You don't get the sliding panel interface. And that took about seven seconds. Uh, so when you connect a non-touch screen Windows Mobile device, things get a little bit weird. But they still work, generally speaking. So we have the mouse cursor on the screen, of course. We can click on the Start button. And there it goes. And we just get a tremendous amount of icons on the screen at one time. Uh, if you're using the Blackjack 2, you know that because of the low resolution screen, you have to constantly be tapping over to get to see all your programs. But here we get to see all the programs in one screen. If we go into settings, for example, um, we get a ton of settings on the screen at one time. And there's the next screen. And now, of course, on Windows Mobile Standard, you don't have an OK button in the upper right corner. So this is really where the Home button on the keyboard is good. It'll take you back home. OK, so and I've just connected the Red Fly to my uh, computer monitor to see what the video output looks like. So I hit the F2 button, and I get this message on the screen. There are three display modes. I can go with LCD only, LCD and VGA, or just VGA. I'm going to do LCD and VGA, which means that it'll be on the red fly, the image, and it'll be on the monitor. And you can change the resolution to 800 by 480 or 800 by 600. We're going to go the maximum here, 800 by 600, and click OK. And it says changing resolution while connected requires the red fly to disconnect and reconnect. So we're going to allow that to continue. Okay, what we have here is the uh, Red Fly exporting video from my um, Blackjack 2 to my computer monitor here. So it's really interesting to see such a massive display to come from uh, the, the mobile device. And so imagine connecting this to a projector or to a, um, you know, any kind of computer monitor to get a really, really big view. This is perfect for presentations, I think, if you don't feel like touting around a, um, a laptop. And not everything scales just right, but some things do. So overall, the Red Fly acts as a nice mobile workstation for your Windows mobile device. It allows you to have a big screen, a big keyboard, a mouse pad. Uh, it allows you to connect to a projector if you want to do a presentation, although you don't want to watch movies on it. It gives you USB ports so you can use an external mouse, external keyboard, or even connect a USB flash drive so you can you know, bring the presentation along or listen to some music or uh, look at some pictures. Um, that said, a lot of people probably wonder, why would I spend two to three hundred dollars on a red fly when I could just buy a netbook for two to four hundred dollars? Well, there's good arguments for and against that, and a lot of it has to do with cost of ownership and um, other issues relating to to price when you actually 
cut it down to um, what things actually cost. We're going to go through all of that and have a little bit of a discussion about the Red Fly versus Netbook question coming up in the next video. For more on Windows Mobile and Windows Mobile accessories, be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now.